Hey folks, well this isn't something you get to do every day. Today we are out here in the desert and we're going to ride Covey Motorcycles FSE 450 Rally. That's right folks, this is a purpose-built 450cc rally bike built by Covey Motorcycles out of China. This motorcycle will be arriving to U.S. shores beginning in May. It is going to be for sale at Kove Motorcycles Ever Expanding Dealers Dealers here in the United States. Nine thousand dollars for this motorcycle. Let's get up close and take a look at it. Okay, folks, here it is. Kove Motorcycles 2023 450 FSE Rally. This is a 450 cc competition specification non street legal rally motorcycle. How neat is that? This motorcycle was actually raced in the 2023 Dakar rally that took place earlier in January and February. Now this motorcycle is so neat because it is the first motorcycle that you can buy off a dealership floor in theory, because they haven't actually arrived to dealerships yet. That is an actual 450 CC rally bike. It's hard to believe even though these kind of bikes have been raced in the Dakar Rally for years and years and years. And KTM came close with actually making, well, they did make a rally bike, but not a 450. It was a 990 back in the day. But even though all these manufacturers like Honda and Yamaha and these big box retail manufacturers compete in that segment, they don't actually make a production vehicle that you can purchase until now. This Kove... FSE 450 Rally is completely built and engineered in China. The tires, the rims, the suspension, the engine, everything is made in China. And the country of China, as we know, with our iPhones and other gadgets, ha has progressed quite a lot in the last few years. And these motorcycles are becoming more and more real. And I say that because if you remember back in the early 2000s when the mini bike craze was was going crazy in Southern California and the United States, there was a flood of really cheap, crappy Chinese bikes. These motorcycles can't be considered cheap or crappy anymore. They're reasonably priced, but they ain't cheap and crappy. Look at this thing. This bike is powered by a 450cc single cylinder engine. It's water cooled. The Kove representative says it's dual overhead cam, but when we started it, it kind of sounded lumpy like a single overhead cam, reminiscent of Honda CRF 450R. There is the radiators that facilitate the water cooling. There is the head pipe you can see it right there. This motorcycle features electric start with switch gear that resembles what Piaggio Group was using a few years ago. Very neat motorcycle. Now this bike rides on suspension that is made by U U -an, Y U A N. It is built in China. It has an air bleed atop each fork leg so you can bleed the air out of the fork just like an off-road or motocross bike. It is inverted. There is a Nissan double piston caliper hanging off the front right there. Single disc brake. These wheels have tubes. This is a 21 inch wheel shod with CST rubber which is a Chinese tire company. We have an 18 inch rear wheel in the back with this aluminum and steel rear sprocket. This is aluminum right here to keep it light and this is steel so the, so the sprocket teeth don't 
wear out. Look at that shock it has. Compression and rebound adjustment. There's the linkage. Nice to see that this motorcycle has an actual linkage. Look at those beefy foot pegs. Those things are huge. I haven't seen a production motorcycle that's come with big beefy foot pegs like this in quite a long time. Here is the switch gear. Uh, typical standard ignition key. We have this color TFT, which we'll show you in a bit. It is backlit right now, so it's probably hard to see, but it looks very nice. Now this vehicle has three different fuel tanks. We have a fuel tank here, a fuel tank here, and then one in the rear. All told, this vehicle can carry eight gallons of fuel. Approximately two and a half in each forward container tank and three gallons in the rear tank. We have nice LED turn signals, LED tail light. I really like the looks of this thing. Look at that big swept exhaust. This thing looks so mean. I love the looks of it. What do you folks think that this vehicle costs? If you had to guess, 12 grand, 13 grand? Nope. Covey Motorcycles says that when this motorcycle arrives in the United States, which will be later in May of 2023, this motorcycle will cost $9 thousand dollars how cool is that folks nine thousand dollars for a fun competition specification non-street legal real 450 cc rally bike now covey motorcycles out of china is currently in the process of making this vehicle street legal in all 50 u.s states so right now they've submitted the vehicle to EPA filings to, to hopefully get that motorcycle approved through the system. And then you'll be able to ride that motorcycle on the street. Look at this. This is the button you push to pull the fuel tank off. I'm sorry, to pull the seat off. There is the battery. And there is the easy to access foam air filter. So the air filter is really easy to clean and access. There's the battery. And then you put the seat back on by just pushing it in, pushing it down, and it is on. Let's start this thing up. Oh no, the battery's dead. Looks like we're not starting it. Well, folks, Let's get a jump on this thing and start it so you folks can have a sound of what this thing sounds like. All right, folks, we're going to check in with you in a little bit once we start this thing up. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, here we go aboard the 2023 Covey FSE. Rally 450. Let's turn the key on. Two keys right here. Starter button right there. And away we go. There is no electronics on this motorcycle. So all we have to do is turn ABS off. Yeah. Let's go here. Hit down. ABS. And we will go close all. Great. And now ABS has been disabled. All right. Here we go, folks. We are going to do our photo shoot. This is a special occasion for you folks. Because you guys will get to see the work we have to put in to make this content. No, let's just go. You want to ride it around and see what it does? You can ride, just don't ride anything that doesn't have tracks on it yet. Okay. You can ride this stuff, you can go over there. Okay. 10 minutes or whatever. Okay, sounds good. 
So sitting on this motorcycle, it feels nice and narrow. The seat height in typical dirt bike form is pretty tall, but it certainly isn't crazy. Let's give this thing some gas. Ooh, it's got some bark to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I like this thing. It feels like a dirt bike. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this thing's got some bark. Wow. We are riding to car style rally in the Nevada sand dune desert with a full eight gallons of fuel this motorcycle weighs 368 pounds i know i said 320 it's actually 340 empty and with gas it is 368 so not the lightest dirt bike but when you're riding this thing it certainly feels pretty light just because of how compact it is and its low center of gravity Oh, this thing is sweet. The handlebar is nice and tall. A little bit narrow. I wouldn't say it's too narrow, but it's a little bit more narrow than other motorcycles I have ridden recently. I do like how tall the bar is. It's also neat that you can adjust this handlebar forward or back by just rolling it with by loosening these torques fasteners. I like that this motorcycle comes with Torx fasteners so you can either use a Torx tool or a traditional metric socket to make adjustments. Now this engine, this 450cc dual overhead cam single, this thing's got some bark. Throttle response is real nice. Nice and responsive sometimes with these bikes. Actually now in the fuel fuel injected age, the bikes have real crisp throttle response. And this thing is certainly not lacking in terms of throttle response. All right. Now it's worth noting if you've never ridden in the sand dunes, the sand dunes require a very unique type riding, riding ability. So when it's windy, the sand gets blown and it can make for hazardous terrain. There can be witch's eyes and obstacles that can swallow you. So when you're riding in the sand dunes, you really have to be aware of your surroundings and keep your eyes up because you never know what's around the next sand dune. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Woo! Brakes work nice and good. Obviously we're riding in medium softness sand, which has a lot of slowing effect. Usually when you're riding a motorcycle in the sand, you want to stay away from the front brake, but the front brake and the CST front tire actually has really good bite. I'm actually surprised how effective this front brake works on the sand as compared to a conventional off-road or motocross tire that you would ride on that type of motorcycle. Wow, that brake works good. Now this 450cc single is mated to a six speed transmission with a cable actuated wet clutch. So the clutch mechanism is bathed in oil just like a traditional Japanese or European spec bike. We have chain final drive delivering power to the 18 inch rear wheel with a left and side chain final drive. Six cogs right now we're riding in gear number three. Let's see how this thing brodies. Whoa, she's got enough power to spin her up real good. Oh yeah, baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, this bike's a hoot to ride. Holy cow. I haven't ridden a motorcycle that's this much fun in 
a good few weeks. This is sick. Yo, yo, yo. Now, when you get into fifth gear, you can definitely feel the engine laboring. The gearing could be maybe a little tall on this motorcycle, but it all depends on the kind of terrain you are going to tackle. If you're going to be riding a lot of fast terrain, obviously you're going to need to have taller gearing just so you don't have that engine spinning out of control. But for all intents and purposes in the desert, I think the gearing could be a little bit lower. But to be fair, this is the first time we've ever operated a vehicle like this on relatively unfamiliar terrain for us because we haven't ridden in the sand in many, many years. So maybe we'll work into it. I do like the shift precision of the transmission. It definitely goes in between cogs well. Nice and solid shift. There is no electronic quick shifter, so shifts have to be made the old-fashioned way. It is with throttle and a little clutch. God, this bike feels good. The seat is a little bit more accommodating. Don't get me wrong, this is a dirt bike seat, but it's got a bit of width to it. And I like the ability to squeeze the motorcycle with the inner part of your leg. That's a big deal when riding off-road. When you're riding off-road, you want a motorcycle that has a nice flat surface above the foot pegs where your legs go so you can squeeze the motorcycle. The harder you squeeze, the more control you have of the vehicle and the more you will be able to stay safe when the motorcycle does funky things. Oh yeah, look at this dune. See you later, dune. Oh yeah. Woo! This thing is a boot. 12 inches of suspension travel fore and aft. And so far, the suspension works good. To be fair, we haven't really encountered any significant bumps. Let's go over these rocks. Yeah, this felt pretty good to me. All right, folks, let's get in line to do our photo shoot with our official photographer, Jeff Allen. Here we go, folks. We're gonna get you some images that will live on our domain, MotorcyclistOnline.com. Yeah, this bike's a hoot. Is it? I, I think I heard those guys saying that over there. Yeah, this thing's a hoot. Does it feel light or heavy? Or? No, it doesn't feel very heavy. It weighs 368 pounds with a full eight gallons of fuel, but it don't feel very heavy. It's super compact. It's compact. It feels like a dirt bike? It definitely feels like a dirt bike. Yeah, it definitely feels like a dirt bike. Yeah, the ergonomics are where they should be. Yeah, this is a neat bike. For nine grand, I'd buy one of these things. And it runs and, and uh, rides and steers fine. Beside that little battery mishap we had in the morning, but that's no big deal. Yeah. Should we make our pictures for the interwebs? So, we'll go down there. Where the, so you can see where we go. We make these loops. Yep. And try not to cross the other lines except for like at the bottom. Yep. And I'm just shooting your turn. So basically, in case we can see something. We're just going to get three action shots right now. Great. And then you guys can ride and test and do all that stuff. We'll go back to photos. And Sounds good. All right, as our official photographer, Jeff Allen, described, we are going to make these crescent-shaped turns here to get the technical term for these images is bangers for you people on the interwebs. What's that? Huh? Hey, you're on camera, man. You're on camera. Crescent. I prefer banana-shaped crescent. <laughs> nice one. Nice zigger. 
That was a good zinger, folks. I love good zingers. God, 368 pounds. This thing is nice and nimble. It doesn't matter. I'm I'm equally uncomfortable doing either way. <laughs> I don't really care which, side, which way we go. I just need to know in advance. You want to go either way or? Probably left. It's better to like it. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, I'll walk down and we'll uh, we'll shoot this way. Uh huh. We can go right though. Let's do right. I don't care. Let's go down to the far end. Let me just get on the back. Okay. Let's go down to the far end and work our way back. All right, folks, Jeff is going to ride on the back with me. He's not wearing a helmet, but we're gonna fudge the rules for now. Even two up at this low speed, 14 miles per hour, these CST tires kick butt. Okay. All right, he's going to get off and we will make the nice images right now. Uh-huh. I'll put the camera over there and you just come in any direction and just make a turn right there. Okay, right here. Yeah, both Dawes and Evan were comfortable doing like wider turns and then slowly tightening them up. Okay, sweet. If that works. Yep, sounds good. The camera will be down there, just turn it down. And... Okay, so we're going to make our crescent shape turn right here. We'll go a little bit wider, probably in second gear, I would think. This vehicle is equipped with an electric fan. The electric fan evacuates heat from the radiator, keeps air moving, keeps heat moving over the radiator as when the bike is shut off. It's not a very hot day. It's only probably 63 degrees Before Fahrenheit. Before the area gets messed up, I'm going to have you just see how it's... Yeah. Just I'll shoot against those mountains. I'll go over there with camera. Um, see where you were just stopped? You see where it's all... Yeah. Footsteps are? So over this way, uh -huh. about even with that, if you can just come and make a turn. Okay, right here? Yeah, right there. Where those guys are? No, no, no. Wait, almost as close as where you were just stopped. Okay, sweet. Go straight over. Hey, you guys! Go that way. Thank you. And go this way. And then you'll just turn. Okay. All right. Oh, that battery. That's the one thing you can notice about this motorcycle, the starter. The su starter, I don't know if it's because the battery voltage is low or what, but the starter just doesn't sound super premium like it would on a Japanese motorcycle. All right, we're going to make a turn here and do the directions as instructed. Let's put the vehicle in second gear. Yes. Second gear and standing up. Nice. It's funny, when you're riding here at the sand dunes, it is so easy to get lost. Everything looks essentially the same. It's washed out in this beige hue. So, like a, like an F-15 Eagle Pilot, it is easy to mess up your spatial awareness. I like second gear on this bike. It's 
crazy how good this front brake works. That's like the thing that I'm really amazed by. I'm telling you, 450 motocross bikes, 450 off-road bikes with 21 inch off-road or motocross tires usually don't work that well in the sand. But today, this motorcycle is. Nice, we got some good F16 style ATC instruction telling us where to go. Now we will go back over here for another pass in the hot LZ landing zone, yeah. God, this bike's so fun to ride. Yeah. Not gonna lie, a quick shifter would be awesome on these bikes. The shift, shifter me mechanism does feel a tad sticky. All right, now we are going to do another turn. Okay, so now, see how this is kind of a this dune is like it has a bit of a summit? Yeah. I'm going to have you coming from that direction this way and then just run. Where? About even where my footsteps were. Okay, go left. But out here in the in the clean sand. Okay. What if you think you've reached the summit of the dune, turn. Okay, sweet. When you come up and you like, you think yep, I can see yep. the bottom of okay. the tires, okay. then just turn left. Sounds good. All right, folks, some more instruction. Now we will do another pass. There is some trash. I dislike people who litter. I love our environment and keeping everything nice and So we are going to do another photo pass on this bike. Gosh, the shifter is a little bit low. Oh uh, yeah, let her eat. God, this thing even breaks on the side of the tire a little bit. Amazing. on the right side of the saddle and making these big left arcing turns. All right, we are coming into the pits for more instruction. So I'm trying to get you to come up straight at me. Like camera's here, uh -huh. you just come straight up at me. Uh -huh. and you see me and you're coming straight up that, that dune. Yep. Instead of going across it, this way, uh -huh. come across it this way, you'll see dogs and uh -huh. carry, and then when you get to what you think is the top, just to the left, yeah, okay, so, so come up farther, just don't closer go, to you, don't go over there, come straight up, okay, straight up, straight up, yeah. gotcha. All right, we're gonna try again, folks, we're gonna do it straight up style. Here we go. Straight Up Style is the name of this image capturing session. Look at the snow in the mountains right there. How beautiful is that? Here in the desert in the American Southwest, we've got, we've had a really good winter with lots of, lots of, snow and rain so that 
that's why it is so beautiful right now. Now, Cove Motorcycles, I'm sorry, Cove Motorcycles, I don't know why they call it Cove when it's spelled K-O-V-E. Maybe they're trying to be fancy or something. They make a number of accessories for this vehicle, including a rally-style rolling tour thing so you can monitor your... So when you're navigating... You can, it's basically a roll chart, so you know where you are going when you are in the middle of nowhere. A good thing to have. Now, these, this Kobe motorcycle is so neat because basically they've made a motorcycle with no competition. There are no production 450 rally bikes offered yet in the United States. So, entering the market with this type of motorcycle is going to be a big deal for them. Great. Does it feel good? Yeah. Good. So, over here, just it's a similar turn than that, but just try to, like, I think you'll go from here and just make a bowl turn. Okay. Obviously, I would stay out of the bowl. That is what we call witch's eye, boys and girls. I would, you know, exit up here at the top. Okay. And I'll put camera over there. Okay, sweet. So right in between those two things? Camera? I turn... No, you'll turn right there. Okay, sweet. You don't, I don't want you on those other tracks. The dog name, I tell them not to make tracks over there. I got lost, dude. <laughs> Just go up here on the left. Just right here and, and make... You want the turn where it's clean, so... Give yourself enough space that okay, you can cross the, the other track. Okay. And, you know, in the photo. Okay. Alright, let's give her a whirl, folks. This is going to be a turn. I would say let's do second gear on this. He's looking displeased. He's looking displeased with my banana-shaped crescent m maneuver. Sorry, that's not what I, that looked good. I just was, I didn't know you were doing that, so I didn't shoot it. I was talking about over there. Oh, that big clean one. No, nope, right here. See where your track? You yep. just made that track. Yeah. Just the the there's a piece of so you'll go around that that the bowl over there. Uh huh. And turn down. Okay, so go around this bowl and turn down right here. Okay. See where you see where. Spatial awareness in the dash. Okay. All right, folks. We are going to try to navigate without getting in this witch's eye. So we will navigate from this side. Yeah! He's looking pleased. How is that? Pretty good. I, for a second I thought... Well, we're, we're trying to see what we're trying to do is... Do you need me to push the red button? See the, see the... I'm trying to keep you away from other tracks. Okay. So let's... Go over there, and we'll and we'll find. I just want to just move from clean space to clean space. If you want to go over here, we can go over there. Sure, I don't care. Go wherever. Let's go this way, and we'll find just something clean, okay, tidy with it. And when we move to the next space, we'll just use what we need. Okay. So. Low oil, please refuel is what this vehicle says on the dash. The fuel is low too. But we're in the middle of a shoot, so we're just going to wing it for now and see what happens. Okay, so, Wahi. Yeah. This looks cool. So what we're going to do is, we'll go over here, and let's hit that spot, and we'll be clean. So don't, don't go on any of this other shit. Just go along the bottom, go up that, and we'll work our, uh, hit that as a left, 
and then we'll work our way back to here. Okay. Let's go over here and just leave this all nice and pristine. Okay. All the way from like here to that shaded okay. dune. Okay. So you want me to turn in the shaded area? Yeah. If you yeah, that's where we'll start. Okay. But let me get over there. Okay. See, folks, this is hard work. Our work never sleeps. We have to do logistics to get to the location, understand the vehicle dynamics, make sure all of our equipment works, do the thing, go home, download all of our memory cards and do that whole process, edit our video, write our story, process our photos. It's a never-ending 24-7 job. No breaks. No days off. Just work. Whoa. That was soft. Good thing we were in first gear, folks, because that was soft. That was a softy little turn. Look how softy it was. My tr track disappeared in the soft terrain. That was a softy. Okay, if you want to hit it again, the sand has fallen down and kind of covered your tracks. Some, Higher or lower? You probably want to go lower because it's going to be yeah, okay. softer. Okay, cool. We're going lower. How's that, folks? First gear is the right gear for this. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I love how this thing feels on the power of the power band. This feels real linear. Of course, the sand zaps a lot of the response and torque of the engine, but it still feels real good. So now we'll do this clean spot right here. Okay. So you'll go, see where your tracks go up on the dunes? Yep. You'll want to kind of go up there, and but you'll want to turn sooner. So you want to get a little higher right in that spot. See where the, the shadow? Yeah, it looks soft right there. Yeah. So. You can go into that or down below it, whichever you choose. Okay, sweet. So just working our way across here. In the Great. I think we're going to stay a little low because it looks real soft. Great. Look at the nice photos. Yes. Nice job, Jeff Allen. So right, so it looks like there's a little bit of a like a, a ridge in there. Uh-huh. So you, you know, I mean, that'll make it hard, so just stay over here. Uh-huh. Pick, okay. pick your line there and I'll shoot it. Okay. Against those tiger spikes. Should I go right? You want to go as a right turn? Yeah. Okay, let me move the camera. Oh no. Oh no, folks. There we go. I think this thing's low on gas, pal. What? It's low on gas. Oh, yeah. You better run it back. We don't want to push it. Okay. Do you want to ride? You want to ride? All right, folks. We're going to get some 91 octane for this vehicle because it is low on gas. The low fuel light is illuminated as is the low oil light. Hmm. I'd be surprised if it's low on fuel. Okay. Check it. Should I just keep going then? It's no big deal to me. Okay. Sweet. All right. That gentleman is the U.S. importer for Cove Motorcycles. Okay, so apparently 
there is some type of maybe questionable reading of the fuel level sensor because the US importer, I believe his name is Gary, says that there should be plenty of vehicle fuel in this bike, yet the light is illuminated. No biggie. Now we mistakenly spoke where this motorcycle will be available for sale at Cove's, Cove's ever expanding US dealerships, but if there's not a dealership around you, they are also offering direct to consumer sales, just like Buell Motorcycles is doing with its FXR inspired Super Cruiser. I'm gonna just have you see how it looks like it's kind of concave right Yeah. Now. I'll put camera over there and you just go Whoop. Great. And you know, if you can make it tighter than they have been. Okay. Whoop, okay. Get a little bit more like front push. Okay, sweet. All right, we're gonna do a tighter turn right here. More front end push. That wasn't very tight, but it's all good. Sorry, it wasn't tighter. Try it. Try it. We'll try it again. Do it from. Do it lower. Like okay. Okay. Five feet lower. Yep. Than yep. The yep. Other. Alright, we're going to try it again, five feet lower than the other one. Clutch lever, working the clutch right now, it has some nice weight to it, you know, there definitely is some tension on the pull, but I wouldn't say it's too much. We got it, bro. We did it. Probably not our best work, but... It's work, none the less. How is it? It's rad. Great. I think we're good. Okay. For me, I don't know if, if uh, Bert needs to shoot video of you, but these are just the, uh, so far, like, cover our ass stuff in case it quits. Yep. And we'll hop on the back. And then we'll just let you guys know about your... All right. We're going to go up this way, folks. knocking that was some knock we've got another 190 pound human yep we are going to get grab Jeff's camera bag which is right over here again folks we are not doing this by the rules so mind your manners make sure when you're operating this vehicle this vehicle is only designed for one person operation Oh no. I'm good. Thanks, man. All right, folks. That was session one. We are going to go into the pits here and download our data and get ready for the second session. Thanks for riding with us today on this fun Cove FSE. 450 rally i like this motorcycle i love the ergonomics on this thing i love those foot pegs i love how i feel i love the balance of the bike this bike is pretty dang awesome so here we are at the day pass area here are some motorsports enthusiasts riding their rally equipped motorcycles this is a husvarna 701 enduro lr that is the long range version with the extra fuel capacity so interesting to see how people are modifying these bikes and making them their own yeah. wow folks look at how steep these dunes are here at dumont dunes i haven't ridden here in probably 15 years and look how peaky these things are. No way near as big in terms of surface area compared to our Glamis sand dunes, but much bigger in terms of peakiness. Let's check.
check things out. Whoa, look what we have here, folks. We definitely don't want to go that way. to do that little clutch and front wheel lift mechanism maneuver that you do when you think you're gonna get stuck. Pretty cool. God, this bike's a hoop to ride. I don't know how we're gonna get over to that other side though. so bad. There's our support vehicle that's Gary from the U.S. Importer. That's Jeff Allen Photography right there. Oh yeah, let's let her eat, baby. Yeah. I love the ergonomics and brake on this motorcycle. feel some engine vibration especially at higher rpm but it's not necessarily bad you gotta remember these big singles are notorious for putting off a lot of engine vibration these rubber dampeners inside the handlebar mount definitely help mitigate some of that vibration. 60 miles per hour, yes! God, these tires kick butt. I'm really pumped on these CST Chinese tires. Alright, folks, we're gonna get to work. More work here in a minute. Okay, folks, we recently picked up this Insta 361. X3 360 video camera. We've been using it for a couple weeks now and I'm not gonna lie there's a bit of learning curve to it but once you figure out how to manipulate the footage on your phone or computer, I like to use the computer with Insta360's proprietary editing app. This camera is actually pretty cool. We're gonna show you right now what it's like to use. Apologies, we had to switch vehicles because the rally livery, Dakar rally livery FSE450 started having a transmission problem. So we had to retire that vehicle. That was, we talked about it earlier in the day, that slightly misshifting feel. It ended up getting worse and worse as the day transpired and now we have to retire that bike so we're gonna ride this one instead we are using our insta 360 camera now we rode this motorcycle through the whoops earlier and it did a fine job i really like the balance of this bike and the 12 inches of suspension travel it works really good god look at this we are conquering the dunes i feel like i'm in the arabian desert right now on this bike how cool is that all right let's go down here oh my god look at this great expanse these 
250cc rally bikes are so neat because they take you out in the middle of nowhere where you can experience what it's like to be a real Dakar style racer. Yes! Whoa, we gotta watch out for Wish's eyes and all kinds of other things that may catch us off guard. Maintenance. This engine holds 1.8 liter of engine oil. The clutch is oil bathed, so the clutch is cooled inside the engine with the engine oil. This motorcycle has a service interval of 5,000 miles, says Cove Motorcycles. Crazy. I feel like I'm riding in a different planet on when I'm on this motorcycle. Now, this vehicle is the $9,000 base model, but Cove also makes a racing specification vehicle for a $5,000 upcharge that includes a Scott steering dampener, a titanium exhaust, a carbon fiber tower, which you can mount your roll chart for navigation purposes and that and moose style tire bibs so you can't get you won't get any flat tires in theory those parts are all for the disconcerning rally rider and racer pretty cool that cove offers that they also offer a short wheelbase equipped I'm sorry, a short suspension vehicle. So for someone who wants to, who is more height challenged, you can buy the lower Cove FSE 450, which has two inches lower suspension. So everything is the same besides, aside from that suspension. So neat mod for you shorter riders out there. All right, folks, look at this beautiful view. We are gearing up for our final photo session of the day. I've had a great time on this motorcycle, and aside from the transmission malfunction on the blue livery bike, I think these things are pretty neat. Well, folks, that was a crazy fun day riding Cove Motorcycles 2023 FSE 450 Rally. For our initial taste of this all Chinese engineered and manufactured 450cc Dakar Rally type bike, we had a really favorable experience. The ergonomics on this motorcycle are awesome. The brakes work really well. It handles nicely. It feels a lot more nimble and compact than you would think, despite its 360 some pound curb weight. Really like the engine on this thing. Isn't the fastest 450 I've ridden, nor it's the slowest, but it has a lot of potential. Unfortunately, this bike had to be retired early, early today because of a transmission problem, but Again, these motorcycles are all new. There's gonna be some teething problems. It's worth noting that for US customers, Cove Motorcycles is standing behind its machine with a six month warranty. So when this vehicle becomes available for purchase in spring in 2023 at a price of $9,000, comes with a six month warranty. Of course, there's not gonna be a lot of dealers around, but Cove Motorcycles says it's willing to work with its customers. It was willing to bring, have you bring your motorcycle to your favorite shop and they will get it handled. Nice to see. Initial samples of this bike, really good. Would I spend my $9,000 on this bike? I wouldn't. It's not tried and true enough for me yet. I can't have a motorcycle whose transmission's failing 
or having any problems. I need a motorcycle that's extremely durable and that won't break. But once Cove figures out the teething problems of this motorcycle, I absolutely want one. They are really fun to ride and they deliver an experience unlike any other motorcycle that is available for purchase in production form today. All right, folks, that wraps up today's review of this FSE 450 rally bike. As always, surf on over to MotorcyclistOnline.com. That's where all of our written editorial lives. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't, because we love hearing naysayers out there. And thanks for going for a ride with us on this new motorcycle today.